Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us today. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They're like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach down into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. We've all got a choice. We can rely on human beings or on God. Jeremiah is typically robust in his language on this subject and said that those who rely on mere humans are cursed. He compares them to stunted shrubs in the desert with no hope for the future. They stand in marked contrast to those who root their life in God. Those people are in a completely different place. They can look to the future with confidence, knowing that they can withstand the hottest summer. They can be sure that whatever happens, they'll keep producing fruit. Of course, we all want to think that we're like trees planted along a riverbank. Who wouldn't? We all want to believe that we'll be able to withstand the biggest pressures of life and keep being fruitful. However, being able to do so depends on living a life that is deliberately and continually open to God. That will only happen if we maintain a constant rhythm of worship, fellowship and Bible study. The way in which that rhythm works out will be different for everyone, but we need to keep drawing on the water of God's nourishment. Keeping up these healthy rhythms is something that almost certainly requires the support of other people. The Methodist Church was founded upon the practice of its members gathering together in weekly class meetings. In these meetings, the members of the group would ask one another, how is it with your soul? Or how is your life in God? It was a way of ensuring that members received regular encouragement and support as they live for God. It's good for all of us to have at least one other person with whom we can be completely honest about our Christian lives. With their support, we can make sure that our roots are always receiving fresh water. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you for the strength that you give to us each day as we look to you. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know. You can also hear me on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.